in this video I like to um, just go through a few like tiny little modifications that I've made in the last few days um, just to sort of um, point out that sometimes you can do something that's really really small but it can just make you uh, sort of feel hmm yeah quite pleased about that actually and just like lifts your spirits a bit so um, obviously as you've seen if you've watched my previous videos anyway um, that I've done quite a few modifications uh, to the motorhome but uh, recently I've just got another three I think to uh, to show you um, the first one was something that um, I think I, I sort of felt that I, I wanted to do because I didn't feel completely comfortable um, and this is to do with like sort of uh, privacy really because I mean the thing is um, you, can, you can hear like everybody going past and, and this kind of thing and sometimes when uh, you you know that some people have been like walking past um, that they they might be looking in so kind of always like looking just to see do you know what I mean so you kind of like feel that um, there may be sort of the invasion of privacy um, it's not really a big thing and it doesn't really happen but it you know generally sort of like makes you look anyway so what I decided to do was to get um, some of that kind of like frosted plastic and um, as you can see here and this one's easy to see because it hasn't got the neck cut in there as well so I've sort of like covered um, windows um, just about halfway so that people um, can't actually see in when they go past but I can still see out into my lovely garden which is still full of people I've got to get rid of those somehow I haven't thought about how to do that yet um, so yeah it was uh, it, has, it has made a difference um, because it just it means I, I don't sort of um, you know as I say like just constantly look to see if anyone's looking in or that kind of thing so it just you know makes you feel a bit more kind of relaxed uh, about things so yeah pretty um, comforting to, to have done that um, another thing now this is really sort of quite a uh, small and pretty insignificant but it still sort of like feels good anyway so um, I would say that the the one thing about living in the motorhome that kind of I don't like them the most is like just having such a lack of space really um, I mean it's generally all right but um, it's just that thing that like you know you've got sort of ceilings that are not too high and sometimes like say you're taking off your, your jumper and ugh, punch the ceiling or something like this or the worst thing is actually um, putting the the cover on the duvet because <laughs> you know that's like not an easy thing to do anyway and um, yeah when you you don't have much space it's really quite quite a challenge to actually get that done um, but yeah anyway the, the, what, what I've done doesn't actually help that but it's um, to sort of just make it feel like there's a, a bit more space so it's in the kind of like the the driving uh, seat area so um, hang on before I show you what I have done so this is kind of like what I have always had just like the, this curtain so again for sort of privacy reasons as well so people aren't able to kind of look through the uh, the front windows and see quite clearly what what you're doing or whatever especially if you know you're getting changed or something like that um, but it, you know it all obviously it sort of takes away from some of the space and some of the light so what I did um, was I got this uh, this blanket which my my mum had got me a few years ago and um, I've put some uh, put some loops on it hang on uh there to to sort of hang it and put some screws um in this kind of alcove bit so what it's done is actually sort of made it feel like there's a bit more space i've got the uh the the, the seats um there as well so yeah i mean it's not you know the kind of space that i i use particularly but i can like put a few things on the on the seats or whatever um just to yeah change it a, a tiny bit and um, <clears throat> it's pretty good because even though it sort of gives a lot of privacy and blocks off the window it still lets in the light and then at night um, if I've got the the curtain here closed as well um, it actually sort of makes it darker as well so it sort of gives more light and it makes it darker 
which is pretty uh, good, I think. Um, yeah, and while I was sort of like, you know, looking at these things, I was, you know, constantly, oh, what else can I do? What else can I do? And um, when I was um, sorting up my bed, because I had to buy like a, another a mattress, well, it's actually a foam mattress topper, but I had to cut it to size. So I'd got um, a length of foam that um, I uh, didn't need in there. So and I just kind of like got it lying around, always thinking, well, maybe I can find some kind of use for it. And um, after sort of like feeling a bit more inspired, um, I thought that, uh, so where, where I generally sit over here, just using a couple of cushions, um, but sometimes if you want to just like, you know, just, you know, lay back um, a bit more, feel a bit more comfortable, um, with just having the cushions like that, it's not that comfortable. It make, you know, can make your back ache. So I just thought, well, actually, let's put one just behind there. And it's like, okay, that's pretty nice. That does the job. Simple little thing, but, you know, it makes a difference. And um, <coughs> another part, because I, you know, cut it down a bit. And I've got another little bit uh, left over. So what I decided to do with that was, um, in, the, in the sleeping loft, obviously, you've got no space to sit up. So... You know, I was always thinking like, well, weeding in beds, that's just not going to be an option, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but with the, the extra piece, what I've done is I um, can use that just as a, a little headrest. So even though I can't sit up, um, you know, it just sort of alters the, the angle of your neck and, you know, you can read a bit more comfortably in bed. So, you know what I mean? It's like tiny little things and it's just like, yeah, okay. Has made a, a small difference and yeah quite happy with that um now to sort of go back uh, in time a little bit um the the kind of I, I would say the the time when i sort of became aware that small things um could make quite a a, a difference in terms of how um sort of well I felt you know just with, with life was when I was actually living in India <clears throat> now um, you could read about this in my fantastic book um, called country to country which I'm going to stick a, a picture of the cover just above where my finger is um, and um, so what I'd noticed there was so I was volunteering in India um, for three months, right in the north of India, and it was in a, a very remote um, area. Um, and where where we lived, the teachers and the students, I was I was teaching English voluntarily to Tibetan uh, refugees, and we all lived in this one big house. We didn't have a, a washing machine, so you know the the normal kind of thing would be to um, just take your clothes down to to the river. Um, and join in with the locals and sort of just wash your clothes uh, there. So it was quite a big um, thing to kind of sort of have, have to find time for, because when, when I was teaching, you know, didn't have much time during the, the day. I was also there kind of like early in the year, so it was, you know, dark early and that sort of thing. So I, I noticed that... Um, if I had, say, an afternoon off and I could actually go and take my clothes down to the river to, to wash them, it actually just felt um, like something of quite an accomplishment, really. And, you know, it made me think, wow, you know, you, you take a lot of things for granted. Like, obviously, just normally, say, we would uh, chuck them in the washing machine and then go off and, and carry on with, with things. But, you know, it felt like you were really achieving something just by being able to wash your clothes once a, a week so I thought yeah that's made me um, sort of realize um, how important it is to you know take uh, note of small things that can make a difference so this is kind of like um, how it's connected a bit to these little things that I've been doing um, in the motorhome uh, this week okay so um, I think what I'm going to sort of talk about next is a few <coughs> a few kind of like um insights again into to how i'm feeling about uh living here so i've been here for for three months um now uh living in the motor home um in my current spot by the the park 
um, been here for pretty much three weeks and um, I'm not, again not sure if I mentioned this in the last video I think I might have done but I was thinking about um, when the, the the four weeks of roadworks were up that I would just sort of return to to that place but it does feel so nice just to have the park right outside um, because you know for one thing the weather's getting better there have been no complaints from anybody um, and you know feeling quite settled into to being here um, and you know it's just so nice to just go out into the park when whenever I, I want to um, oh, there's a dog right outside there in fact lots of dogs lots of people and you know this kind of um, this kind of environment <clears throat> Um, it just feels really nice um, to, to be here and so yeah I am thinking about staying over here um, for more time you know it's always a case of just like see how things go and what have you but um, yeah um, and the other thing about like w with being able to work part-time um, and have a lot of free time on my hands I've just kind of thought the other day that it sort of feels like being kind of semi-retired really because I've just got so much time to, to do whatever I want as you will have noticed I've been um, uh, doing some paintings again I did show you one in the last video but this is another one that I did um, a few days ago and it is called All Together Now and it's uh, another one in my sort of series of things that sort of celebrate racial diversity so this is all about people having different um, skin tones and that there's not sort of like groups you know distinct groups of like well I don't believe anyway of like yeah some people are this color this color this color or this color it's like we just blend through a whole spectrum um, and with like say you know mixed races and, and things like this it's like yeah let's stop categorizing each other let's just think that as the title says we are all together now um, so yeah there you go um, there are plans to do some more painting so I'm feeling yeah quite inspired at the moment um, and yeah just like I said sort of being able to just to go out into the park whenever I want and just mix with the people like say hello to the dogs and this kind of thing just sit out and have a coffee it just I you know I do feel like very free um, right now which is obviously a, a, a great thing and it, it does make a, a big difference to how you feel about life and just things in general so and I wouldn't I guess necessarily have had this if I just moved into another uh, house or whatever because I would have to be working more and, and all the rest of it have less time during the day to, to do things so yeah um, I would say that I, I, I do not regret this um, move into a motorhome in at all um, totally enjoying things and um, yeah don't um, exactly have any reason to, to think oh yeah I'm only going to do this for for a few months or something and then sell it and then get back to to oops oh my sorry I'm going into the dark there by turning that way um, so yeah feeling quite happy with with how things are at the moment and yeah if you're again if you're thinking about doing something like this you know hopefully this can make you think hmm that sounds pretty good actually I might consider getting a motorhome myself I would recommend it yeah so much cheaper so much more freedom and the other thing as well about just like having this place to myself you know, obviously knowing that I don't have to pay any rent or, or that kind of thing um, but also having to share with people it's so good not to have to do that I swear I mean you know I had like so many flatmates and stuff over the years and um, it's uh, most of the time it's pretty bad having to, to share with people because you know people just have their own sort of ways of doing things and there's always things that um, annoy people because of how other people um, are acting and that kind of thing and I, I, I just don't have to worry about that whatsoever so yeah just to be have that weight off my shoulders is is fabulous of course okay then 
I'll leave it there. So yeah, have a, a great time. Enjoy the sun if you have it, wherever you are. Um, and I shall see you soon.